Well, for more on what's going on with the Wanda Group, let's bring in Ronald Wan. He's the chief executive of Partners Capital International. Welcome to the show. Hmm. So where do things currently stand with Wanda's overall business? I think, uh, you know, um, Thailand Wonder has been expanding overseas, you know, in particular in the Hollywood area, you know, by acquiring AMC and the legendary you know, entertainment, you know, uh, a while ago. Basically, uh, that has me in line with the, you know, Chinese government, you know, um, policy to try to promote, you know, a, a positive image of, you know, Chinese culture and uh, globally. But uh, things are actually uh, getting a bit out of control. I think a lot of you know, mainland Chinese enterprises are making aggressive you know, um, expansion plan. And basically, uh, that has been disregard of the economic returns and uh, many or other negative factors involved as well. And also, I think that in Wonder, you know, its plan has uh, actually affected its you know, uh, financial positions, its clearing ratio. Basically, I think the government tried to promote a more healthy, you know, over these investment strategies and basically Dine and Wonder has been affected and think that it will adjust is you know a Hollywood plan uh, you know accordingly and obviously less money will be go to Hollywood you know as a result. Now as you mentioned there is this concern about huge conglomerates like Wonder with these massive bank loans basically threatening some of the banks and also the overall economy with these risky acquisitions. How can Wonder adapt its strategy? Mm. I think uh, it is interesting that um, a lot of uh, you know, Chinese enterprises, when they are making you know overseas investment, uh, they actually you know is not coming out from the internal resources. Most of them are um, you know, borrowing borrowed from the banks. You know, basically, um, well, it uh, creates a very huge uncertainty, especially you know for those banks. Um, they are not Hollywood experts. <laughs> they don't know whether the investment return will uh, go into positive area. Uh, as, as a result, I think the banks will tend to borrow less to the Chinese enterprises, including Dine and Wonder, to make um, overseas investment. Uh, as a result, I think Dine and Wonder has to be very cautious about its uh, existing, you know, uh, plan in Hollywood and the future plan. Basically, um, well, there has been some sort of rumors that I know some of the Chinese enterprises will even sell their Hollywood assets, you know. But I don't know whether that will happen to Dine and Wonder. But I think uh, we need to look closely on the cash flow on the business and whether it can generate return to support Dine and Wonder to. Um, basically to pay off the interest and the principal. So how do you think this extra scrutiny on capital flight and these overseas investments, especially in Hollywood, is going to affect China's impact in Hollywood and in return, Hollywood's impact in China? Hmm. Uh, first of all, if we look at you know, Chinese data, you know, particularly for Chinese investment going abroad, uh, basically it has dropped by something like more than 40% in the first half of this year. Uh, it means that, uh, generally speaking, you know, less money is going abroad, including Hollywood. Uh, well, what will be the result that will be reflected in the film, you know, the movie, you know, music and things like that, the, 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 the title and the, uh, the main you know, story of the story will be less Chinese focused in the first place. And then, um, well, um, I think Chinese, you know, uh, businessmen will need to look for other, you know, um, business uh, which can generate a more, you know, higher return in the first place. For Hollywood to China, I think that uh, if less money uh, is going to the Hollywood, I think that, uh, well, the production size and the, you know, some of the story picking will be affected as well. So I think that there will be less, you know, Chinese related story and there will be less Chinese actors and less Chinese stories in the, you know, Hollywood uh, side. Now, on the more positive side, what are some of the more lucrative aspects of Wonders Business? I think Wanda is still a leading, you know, property, you know, you know developer in particular in terms of, you know, uh, shopping mall and then uh, certain commercial, um, you know, uh, properties. I think these properties are uh, uh, actually kind of well, uh, well spread in mainland China. So basically, um, well, assuming that you know, Chinese economy has been on the right track and then uh, growth at the rate of more than six point, you know, eight percent, I think that um, these assets will generate, you know, proper you know, rental income, you know, as a result of the you know more healthy and uh, growing you know, business activities within China. So I think that I think that that will be a key you know development development area uh, you know, for the Dine and Wonder groups you know, in the next few months or even years. And we'll certainly see how the company adjusts its strategy. Thank you so much, Ronald Wan there, Chief Executive of Partners Capital International.